And so our story begins. But who is the hero of our tale? Then let her destiny unfold. That's lucky. Like finding a four-leaf clover. Oh, look, little sparrow. Castle Fairfax looks so nice in the snow. Imagine the grand dining hall. I bet Lord Luth... But he must be really lonely since his wife and his little girl died. In that big castle, all by himself. If only we could live there. What is going on over there? Come with me, sis. Hello there, young Rose. You look hungry. Have you reconsidered my offer? We'll never be that hungry. The answer is no. You'll be back, and I'll be waiting for you. That filthy creep. I ate him. Oh, he's just a trader. I can't see anything past this lot. A ladies and a gentleman. I have traveled the land, accumulating wondrous and mysterious objects, which I now offer to you for the mother's... Consider this. This is truly a magical mirror. For as long as you look into it, it will make you beautiful. I'll take it. Very wise. Now, just remember, the magic only works if you look at it in complete darkness. Ah, now this is truly a marvel. This small, unassuming box is actually a device creating cells. <laughs> Turn the handle three times and you shall be granted a single... There's no such thing as magic. We live in grim times indeed. If the young are too well... Most children your age believe eagerly. Look, I can see your eyes are bad. But I'm telling you, that music box... That's what the seller thinks. He has no idea what he stumbled upon. But you... Some part of you wants to believe it's magic. What? You... You really think it could be? For five gold coins, you could have your answer. For five gold coins, we could eat for a week. Listen to me, Rose. At the end of that week, you and your little sparrow would be no closer to your dream, no closer to the inside of that beautiful castle. What if it is real? I bet we could get five gold pieces, and maybe this could be a way out. What is there to lose, little sparrow? Come on, there must be someone around here who'll pay us gold to do something. Belinda. Oi! Kids, come here a minute. Hello, Derek. Lose something? My arrest warrants flew right out of my hands. Deal. The warrants flew off in that direction. Through the alley by that bloke with a pick. So, we'll look out for those warrants. But for now, let's find some more. 
relatives with a life liking. <laughs> Pull the other one. Eh? Now, all you have to do is strike a pose for my little device. You'll be positively betwazzled by the results. Be what? Ah, oh, yes, I've been improving. Very well. Strike a pose, my young friend. Stop wasting our time. That bull man. Does he know how silly he looks? Hmm, that was somewhat lacking in... Well, it... But I only have one sheet of magic paper, so it'll have to do. Now, I just have to wait three months for the picture to developify, and I can start showing it around! Oh, I can almost... <laughs> three months, he says! Told you it was a swindle! That was fun. And we've got our first yeah, gold coin. <laughs> Go on, give him another. Stupid dog. Can I have a whack when you're done, Rex? Let me know if you find the warrants. Now, the fellow who sold this thing said I should foculize the... This must be the alley the warrants blew down. We should take a look. Stupid dog! Come on! You're done, Rex! You like that, you stupid mutt! Having a bit of fun. What's it to you? Oh! He hit a girl. Yeah, and now I'm gonna hit another one. Knock those teeth out! Knock those teeth out! <coughs> Go on! Oh, that one had to hurt. <coughs> Could have taken him though. Glad to be that wreck. He deserves it.
You look oh, scared. Like a hero, like a hero or something. Or something. What you need is someone nice to look after you. Oh, we can't keep you. We don't have enough food for ourselves. Well, I'm sorry, but we can't. Now you just rest. Come on, little sparrow. Let's go. Can I be your friend? We have to find something to eat soon. Glad to be that rat. He deserves it. What'll I do? Need help with something? Shoot the beetles. Shoot to kill. <laughs> 